We back, we back, chat. Let's get it, man. Come on. Trash, bro. Come on. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Shot right away. That's caught at the 25. And all the way in for the Kansas 
Sweet touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 75 yards. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7 0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 22. Yo, what up, Lito? My dog, Lito, what's good? Now a first carry here for Robinson. And now the rookie's free. He's on his way. And he'll be ready. Hey, I appreciate you, Lito. Scan jumped in the stream, Leo. That's all crazy. He talk, I was streaming on. Uh, I had to cut the stream off because I wasn't on um, connected to the LAN cable. But yeah, the stream I had, I had started, so I had started it back up. But yeah, he had jumped in the stream, bro. I don't know what the fuck. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll run again here with Robinson. No, man. John Robinson, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at How you being, Olito? You in here? I'm trying. I'm trying to go crazy, bro. <clears throat> trying, bro. I've been off for like five days. I've been looking for your stream. I see you ain't streaming in a few days. You always draw. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. Need that little break, man. We back, though. She's going on. To run with it. Fair catch on the we'll Took a tough to L to the Cowboy. We bitch ass, man. Right, we got the Chiefs. Here we go. <clears throat> Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, the name of the game last time, efficiency. Their very first snap, they connected for a quick touchdown. They get more value than just the points from that series as well. Three forms for Patrick Mahomes. If I get a pick, I'm happy. I'm ecstatic if I get a pick. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's playing it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just nice feel pressure, the laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. They hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be one thing for this one. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Oh, man. Damn. I see you, bro. Shit, I hope everything's get better, dog. Shit, you know, some things be, you know, be a, a push forward, put, you know, some shit, you know, it's supposed to, it's supposed to set you back, be a push forward in reality. Yeah, I feel that though, bro. It's more shit to like than this shit. That's how you put the dog stream up. I put that. I definitely check that out. Free form. Got another free form. Can we get some pressure? Can somebody go get him? Oh, shit. Can somebody go get him? Like, God damn. I'm blitzing forward. Right? What the fuck are y'all doing? He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this hey, first quarter. On second down, here's Mahomes. And he's got Hartman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Extra point by Buckles on target. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. <laughs> About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I look and repeat that, Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Ritter to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. So a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion. And they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Ritter from the gun on third down. And it is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 35. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. That's a lot what the runners give us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. Uh, and they fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Working from the gun, Ritter. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. In motion, the tight end. Ritter from the gun. And it's caught. Three yards oh, I can't take the play. That's crazy. Now Ritter going to change up the look. Robinson. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit the hand away. They lost four there, and it's third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. Drake, don't drop, man. Come on. A five-yard.
yard touchdown catch. And the Falcons are an extra point away from evening this one up. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at 14. All right, side of sheet. Set up. She got a low. She kept it real. They're the niggas. They're tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Better than that business if I run with him. Anyway, I go with him. And we see James. He will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline and watch. You know, I'm happy he had a wide open person. It's intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I give left side to Robinson. Oh, oh, and I get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. And with that run, he's already at 100 yards here before halftime. So if he sees the same kind of action in the second half, he could be on his way to a career game. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts on the receiving end from Desmond Ritter. She and the sneezed. Falcons have moved out in front. Yeah. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Two able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Shout out to the two in the chat. Falcons rush the Super Bowl champs, man. Come on. Now hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you do. Let's go. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very uh, first play. Free play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be an interception. Picked up by Richie Grant. And the Falcons are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And the penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll drop to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Uh, he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the team of the morning. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Give him two on the play there, and it'll give the Chiefs a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might
They set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Two yards to go, second down. From oh, you good. <laughs> I got caught up watching them up. Let's see if you did it. You running somebody else shit up, Nardo. A million views. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like he's tapping back in, my guy. Had to restart the stream, but I wasn't connected to the land cable, man. I'll get a little lag. man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. A new change. Can we got sit down right? What the fuck? Yeah, let me let me see that play here. You better hurry up. I want to see that play, bro. What the fuck? What you got going on, man? They'll run here with Pacheco, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Falcons gonna use one of the. Yo, what up, Ants? As they get it right in Yo, the and so I'm uh, grinding this right now. Shit, yeah, I'm probably gonna hop on. We was looking for me, uh, draw was looking for you. Uh, we was looking for you to play some Call of Duty the other day, bro. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time. I can get there. I knew it was from you guys. Shit. I knew that shit was coming, nigga. So predictable. Y'all niggas is fucking bots, man. Niggas run the same offense. Fucking bots, man. Come on, bro. Here we go. Take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Hmm? Sorry, I, I was on my. Uh, oh. Nah, you good, bro. You good. Shit. We was, uh. Me and Drive was running some shit. I'm about to take two hours. I'm caught up being two hours of mad tomorrow. Yeah, hell yeah. I, that rebirth, I only played like three, four games on that rebirth, man. I was a rebirth goat. So I'm, I'm trying to get back on that shit. I might play that shit tonight. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guy. Uh, you got the nut. What's that, bro? Shout out to the four in the chat. Hey, if y'all new to the stream, hit that like button for me, man. Hit that sub button. Come on. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. I'm not great, Like a, I got what heart on my belly, the nuke. Wait, how did you get a nuke, Addison? You lying? How? You talking about a multiplayer? Ah, oh, come on with the horrible pass. I'm still going. Fuck, man. Kelsey, get him. Running back was open. Uh, what play did I run right there? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I probably had Bajan wide the fuck open. You right now, don't see? I be doing dumb shit, man. Uh, damn well, that's an automatic pick every time I run that route. Oh, man, I should have called timeout. Oh, I should have called timeout. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. 
So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Yeah, man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Getting set for a quarter number three here. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the oh, second half bring these. us as we are underway? Mm -hmm. Talk three. to the phone to say, yeah. It's taken in right around the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return. Able Yeah, get about it, man. Shit. If you gotta go, you gotta go, bro. My bad, Josh. I should have kept that game going, but shit, his ass was sweaty as fuck. Anderson, man, nah, bro. I'm goddamn. I'm trying to play. I'm trying. I'm trying to play some comp for real, bro. You know you my guy though, man. You know you my guy, bro. I ain't been on in a minute. I'm falling down the ranks, bro. I'm trying to get the top 1,000. Got to keep grinding this shit. Who he got? Chiefs? Eagles? All right, cool. Here we go. I knew it was one of the two or the three. You... You from Compton, bro? EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here. All right, bro, that TV loud as fuck, my guy. Hey, you can turn that mic off. TV loud as hell, my guy. Appreciate you, bro. God damn. Is that part of your strategy? Turn that loud ass TV up, man. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Oh, yeah, Anderson, yeah, he saw it up. He saw it up, no, no. <laughs> he saw it up. Hey, I had lost the sub today too. No, I don't know. Somebody else sub, bro. Shit, probably not. Man. These weirdos, man. Mm -hmm. Pass. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. Get that, AJ. What? Ah. Out of bounds, just shy of the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out. Shout out to the five in the chat, man. Come on. Completion and a quick first down. Let's go. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try uh, to get yeah. the first down. This I'm is my letter fan, man. Oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> Hey, I'm ranked like 2,000 too. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 mm -hmm. yards. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball, but can still run as well. Because when you run against six DBs, with some bigger offensive linemen, you often get this result. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a guy? timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Hey, you say you got to get used to that call of duty. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, shout out this like that. Oh, yeah, fast, man. Don't you crazy. 
I be fucking motherfuckers up on that Call of Duty a little bit. Look, son. Get there. Come on, shout out to the fire, y'all. Turn me up. Hey, if y'all new, hit that like button, hit that sub button for me, man. Free ready to support. Exactly. Oh my gosh, are you streaming right now? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 man. Thanks. I beat the number one player. I got a video out. I said fire, bro. Check my channel out if you can, bro. It's on YouTube. Shout out 88 Gaming. It's all the same with my PSN. Shout out 88 Gaming. Happy love, bro. You so dope, man. Come on. <laughs> Gimmicky? Nah, hell nah. I don't do no gimmicks. I don't do no schemes. Shit. Nah. Destroy now. Throwing his hurts. Out the backfield. Come here. Ah. Fuck. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards. Oh, good control the settings. Oh, uh, yeah. I, um, and the only thing they don't have so far is points. I go tactical. I think the way you can now, slide with the right stick. And they've established you click the right stick in, you slide. Running, passing, I think it's tactical. This Get him. Fumble. It'll go as a game of four, and that will bring up second down. <laughs> On the end around, here comes Smith. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Thanks for that. Nice speed. Oh, shit. Away. And the Eagles will jump on top of the game. Yeah, that's what I do, not all probably play some the night since I ain't gonna watch that. I, I, I disputed with my girl, man. I talked with her no movie tonight. I might play some Call of Duty, man. But lock in. Go to about two in the morning. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. No, no, you had a hundred subs yet, bro? Hey man, if y'all in the stream, man, go get my guy Nardo to a hundred streams, man. Hundred uh hundred subs, man. Well now after the touchdown, here's Elliot on to kick I know he closing he like one or two, man. Or three. Maybe four. Here we go. Let's get out of there. Oh, you ain't gonna click? Come on, bro. You gotta click on, man. Try to make that tackle, guy. My guy. 93. Oh shit. He said, uh, You gotta click on, try to make that tackle, man. You gotta save the day, bro. You can't. He said, nigga, please. Come on. Here we go. Ritter and the Falcons right, now the first and ten at their own twenty two. They begin the drive with Robinson. I pick up five. Oh, it's three. Second down. Uh, Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 25, here's second down and seven. <laughs> what you talking about, bro? Oh, you talking about your defense? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They ready to blitz some, huh? They ready to blitz some, huh? What the fuck? And his throw is going to be incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense is imperative right. is it for them to get points out. Man. Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. Mm -hmm. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able mm -hmm. to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game. Play smart. Really What's that? Off in the execution of that play. Which one? What Good you mean, news. play smart? Go for it. Game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. 
No disrespect in football, huh? Damn football. You said it, my guy didn't. You said it, huh? Where you from, bro? You from Cotton? I don't play football out there, man. I don't even play basketball, man. Play right there because there is no chance that he was a primary receiver on that play. Definitely checked it down to him and just said, "Please help us out, make a play." Sound like y'all got the best weed too, huh? What you got going? Here we go. First down. Here's Ritter. Oh yeah, get out of there. Ah man. Oh man, just not checkers. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and ten at the 36. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. And brought down. Let's get to the second, man. Let's get to the second. What up, Carla? What up, my guy? How you, bro? A little football, man. We back on it, man. A little Tuesday night football. Falcon versus Birds. You know how we go. Falcons versus the Birds. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. We had that boy scan tap into the stream, man. Scan tapped in, call it. I know I'll be seeing. I don't know if I'll be seeing you in stream or is it a parlay stream? I'll be seeing you. Probably. I don't know, but yeah, scan that tapped in. That shit was a. That shit was motivation. Oh, right to him. All oh, right to him. I'm talking too much. I had a touchdown, really. Oh my God, Matt! What up, dog? I mean, we got everybody in this bitch, man. We lit. We going nuts. Y'all turn me up. Y'all hit that like button for me, man. We got the guys in here, man. Come on, Matt. <clears throat> what up? How you, bro? Shout out to the six in here. All right, what we doing? Second down, ten. Castle, where you going? Why y'all double teaming him? You got a linebacker to pick up, bro. Mad at me giving me headaches, man. I think I'm ready for Kirk Cousins, y'all, man. Shit. Nah, this is Desmond Ritter guy, bro. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. On play action, here's Ritter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, if y'all haven't seen my video versus the number one player and my trash talking video on my page, y'all go check that out. We almost had 100 views on that. Y'all turn, y'all run me up to 100 views, man. I'm gonna get some more content for y'all. Y'all get those to 100. We gonna get some more videos to uh, got there for y'all. I got a lot of videos, a lot of content. I'm ready to chop up, man. Come on. Come here. And they'll get him down right around the 25. Actually, I used to know his six. six I'll take it, though. So a net gain of one there. <laughs> Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored. <laughs> Falcons well. versus we'll bitches. They can seize that momentum right <laughs> That's the Bills. <laughs> That's the Bills, man. <laughs> we ain't played a Bills user in a minute, man. Falcons versus field. bitches. <laughs> you One big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. 
You know, we only play like four teams in here, man. And Nardo, come on, you know, it's only like four teams you play against in here, bro. Got to give him a, na a nickname. Come on, man, what are we doing? From the 34 yard line, here's second down and two. They'll send a receiver in motion. Uh, Chiefs, Niners, down. Eagles, Bills. Oh my God. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 50 yards rushing. Chiefs, for Niners, Bills. Yeah. And if it's not the Eagles, then it's the Ravens. The Ravens. Uh. Off meta, you might see the Packers every now and then. Um, sometimes you might see the Dolphins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said he was shocked to see the Falcons chat. I be talking my shit, man. Shit, I just be. Hey, I'm. I'm, I'm. It's a few people up here that back use different teams. Uh, the number one player, he, he, played, he played with Minnesota when I played him. Yeah. But he, I think he played with the Saints too, though. I checked it. I checked him out on the leaderboard. Leaderboard, he played with the Saints too. Saints tough. I always have a problem with the Saints, though. Nah, he ain't, he ain't even do shit. I, I use alert them. I got a, two CPU picks on them and everything. He was he wasn't doing shit. He was, he was switching it up. He was throwing like hella pass plays because he was down like most of the game. I, I scored on him and he, he threw a pick. I scored again. He had to just keep passing. He tried to he tried to run the clock out. I picked him. Went down and got a field goal. It shit was crazy. Check my video out on my page, bro. Just lit. Like I got the animations and shit on there. It ain't just no uh you know what I'm saying? It ain't just no chopped up. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of eleven. Well they can take the football this strong right up the middle. Oh yeah, so a little pop. Yeah, your pop y'all y'all down there in Duval. Uh, what you mean who your pops, Nardo? He was a, a Miami fan or something. I know you say you in Dubai. What that's that's Jacksonville, bro, right? They're running the ball very well right out. That boy Trevor, man. That boy Trevor, G Georgia boy, man. I fuck with I fuck with the uh the Jaguars too. Oh, and I see a few of them on here too. Like that's a little off meta team on here. You might see the Jaguars every now and then too. What are we doing right here? Ready for them pick. Come here. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Only able to gain a Oh man. I'm sorry to hear that, now though. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall. Uh, Peter Potts, man. You know what I'm How about the defense there? Swarm. I always hate to see one of them go, bro. You know, keep rock. Hey. Keep it star, bro. Watkins in motion left. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touchdown. Get there. On a great read by the secondary. They come get up there. to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this is because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the road plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. Please These tell me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God, it's a dot. Oh, that's another first down as the tackles made at the Falcon 16. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Uh, you be scared to throw with two of man shit. He's supposed to have that crazy accuracy. He's one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the league. That's what they say. He's supposed to have that green bean meter up there, bro. On the option to give the Swift here. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. The Falcons gonna That's crazy how you scared to throw with two. That's wild. I need to play with some new teams on here just to see, bro. Like in this first half just to see bro like i played with the niners on accident and the eagles on accident second down and six now just because they right there by the birds the falcons on the option to give the switch Get him. here and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard All right. line 80 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half throwing games played a huge part of getting him down to this point on the field I say stay with it. Keep He's happy, y'all. He's happy keep about that first. Keep yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Yeah. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift. As 
as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this Shout out to the four in the chat, y'all. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves mm -hmm. in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. It's a lot of time on the clock, though, man. I could do. I could work with 14 in the so timeout. I can time get three. Speak of remaining in this first half is the kicks away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. I can work with that, man. I can work with that. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. Oh, I come on. Ritter, what the fuck, bro? I gotta, I'm not looking at the meter. I got to look at the meter, chat. I got to look at the meter, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, bro. Got to lock in on the meter, man. Ritter with another throw on second down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. All right, let's get to the third, man. Let's get to the third. Defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. Oh, how you going to pick that, my guy? And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Damn. Ready. Yeah, damn sure should have threw a pick. <laughs> Just like this. This this more matter love right here though. Oh man, come on. Talk about this. from a few steps into the mm, end zone. Mm, mm. And they're going to start in a hole mm, as he's mm, brought mm. down at the 11. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Who, you? Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because you almost sold that, bro. Hey, you were fucking safe. Gauntlet's been thrown down. Almost. They're ready to answer it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the give, here's Robinson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Third and four. <laughs> Damn, funny as shit. He said he follow every YouTube. Calling a gain is seven and it gets him a new set of downs. He didn't say he follow me. I was just asking him to follow shit. Wonder how he found my stream though. It's crazy. He probably, like I know my shit been going up like a little bit. Like, I be getting like a lot of like the YouTube uh, studio so I be getting a lot of random viewers and shit. So I guess I be popping up. Where you going? <laughs> Damn. 
48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he I should have bounced outside. I was out of there doing too damn much. Trying to be cute, bro. Oh. A little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Man, this nigga here. Ritter off to play fake. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. Oh, okay, That's okay. Not our heat. Plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. <laughs> I got like a little what? Oh, no. Nah, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah, I ain't getting no pointers. <laughs> and this is after the play. They might tell they might tell me like I have to play like you had him open. Hell yeah. You know they always gonna say that they be seeing the shit. Nah, my nigga Nardo out. Last game I had a crucial read I missed. The strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination Boring as hell, bro. I gotta keep running the ball on you, bro. I gotta keep. Scrimmage. They want every nice. battle up front, and a lot of times that is one on one. And if you win your one on ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. I'll take it. She was looking scary for a minute. Thought one of the boys about to get a crazy block shit. One of them UGA boys, man. Continue after the conversion on fourth. They'll work from the 20 on first down. Mm, I see you coming down on circle. Came down on circle like a motherfucker. Take a hit. Hell no. Nah. Oh, yeah. Hell no. We ain't going out like that. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Can't do that. Come on. Oh my God! Crazy blitz! Crazy blitz! And this head straight to the sideline. I don't think they're gonna let him away with that. Flag. Nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity. A flag. Throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your what? guys in order to dodge the penalty. So now it's third and long because remember, they also lose a down uh, on the running call. And they'll that's send the crazy. time in motion here. Man, defense is crazy. Uh. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh my god, bro. I throw that pass inaccurate every time, bro. Every time. How? I'm looking at the fucking bar like. GG, GG, bro. No, no, no. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. That shit just pissed me off, though. Come on, bro. Like, every time I throw that pass, niggas open. I'm overthrowing this shit every time, bro. Shit's crazy. This shit's sad, bro. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their own 17-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Oh, shit, bro. Second and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. Mm -hmm. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 34. 
So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Hurts on the option right. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Well, I liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, he said, forget it. Let's just get a first down and start a new set. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. GG, bro. You got it, bro. Hey, check my page out, bro. That be love, man. Shout out to the game. Good shit, good shit. All right, bro. Yep. Oh, shit, bro. This nigga Ritter, bro. This nigga Ritter, man. Fucking choke. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started and we are underway from Kansas City McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 in time he'll throw he'll check this one down to Pacheco before he's out of bounds 13 yards on the game's opening play nice little nifty play for him there yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily and I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. And it'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 33 yards that time. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the back. Shout out to the five in the chat. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball is right on the money and leads to a big play. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 
I played him before. Yeah. He beat me for one off. First and ten, here's Pacheco. Well, they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dive. What the RPO master? I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. Touchdown! Kadarius Tony from four yards out. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point by Bucker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now, look at this. They got the 7 0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team. They shouldn't even have a mark where I can see where the ball was. First quarter. Not sure I completely see right. the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried. They just didn't get it done. A complete to Drake London. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards that time. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, You'll After take that every years. single time. From the 29, here's the second and four. Ritter will set up to throw it. This pass is caught by London. Touchdown, Falcons! Drake London. 29 yards Come on. and the Falcons are within an extra point of tying up this ball game my bad y'all I'm just over here thinking about how niggas be getting bailed out by this shit bro like how many niggas I be extra bailing out they be winning and they, you know, they feeling like you know, like, like, that shit crazy bro my bad chat energy's just not there bro yeah Quez walking man what about him uh, what about Quay? Each team's had it. Each team has scored. Oh, y'all got Quay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The Steelers got Quay? Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25. Actually, the 26 officially. So I got a lot of goddamn receivers, bro. A lot of goddamn receivers. Out of the huh? Ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there in the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Clock runs, less than a minute to go, and an entertaining first quarter of play. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The the Shout out to the four in the chat, y'all. Appreciate y'all tapping in. We got Falcons versus the Super Bowl champs. Falcons versus the Super Bowl champs, man. Can we pull it out? No. Nope. Come on, AJ. What? That's a play, bro. What the hell, bro? Make a 
play. These two teams all tied after one. <clears throat> the second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Motion left, the tight end. Pacheco is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no got all kind of RPO, dog. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now receiver in motion left. Can't do nothing with the fucking RPOs, bro. We got too many. Extra point by Butker is on target. Shout out to the six in the chat. Y'all hit that like button for me. Hit that sub button if you do. It's a free way to support the channel, man. We coming with the Falcons every time, bro. Let's see if I can get a radar where the ball is going on this kick, or is that some shit I don't know about, bro? Oh my god. And a good job here by Damn, the Falcons, bud. He got the meta kick, y'all. He got the meta kick. Holy shit. Shout out to the seven, man. Appreciate y'all. Tuesday night football. Falcon versus the Super Bowl champs. Can I pull out the upset? It's a rematch. I done played this motherfucker before. On first down, Ritter. Oh my god, of course, I remember that. The late pitch. The late click on pitch, the perfect timing. Ah! Yep. Touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Yeah, uh, really nice on, job now. getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. And that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Flush to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Arnold Evacati able to finally wrestle him down for what's just going to be a huge loss. And it takes us to fourth down as well. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is in. Yeah, so these stupid ass niggas better not pick this shit off. Scratcher there. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he had a man <laughs> this game is fucking joke, bro. This game is a fucking joke, bro. What the fuck? The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. Click, lame ass nigga, come on. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Robinson gonna be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. 
It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Oh We've hit the two-minute mark in the second can't quarter. Audible. 14 to 7. Yo, what up, what up? Hey, I'll tell you if you hit that sub button. <laughs> I'll tell you if you hit that sub button, Brody. What's good? How you doing, man? Appreciate you tapping in. We got the Falcon versus Super Bowl champ. I honestly don't know, bro. I don't know if it was an update. I don't think so. Robinson. We'll get down close to Game is a fucking joke, man. Uh, and people who play are fucking clowns. Oh, the fucking clowns, bro. As you'll see all season. Including myself, bro. I'm a fucking clown too. This shit's crazy. This shit's dumb. This shit's dumb as shit. It's gonna be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing Ball just goes through Kyle Pitt's hands. The most open pass you'll have in Madden versus the Chiefs. It goes straight through his hands for a touchdown. No touchdown. Come on, man. Stupid as shit. I don't even want the ball back, bro. You got it. You good, man. You good, bro. You good, bro. You got it, bro. Now they empty the backfield and motion the running back right. He's going to flip that out to the flag. It's complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Appreciate the new subs, man. Appreciate y'all, bro. And the Chiefs will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Bucker is on target. And it's now 21 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And with only nine seconds. I try so hard to play this game, y'all. I try so hard to play it. But Maybe can't click, nigga. I can't. I try to grind this game, but it's just so hard to grind it, bro. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'm trying not to complain, man. I'm trying not to complain right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Scotty Miller's the like the fastest person on the team, but it's just something off about him. He has no change in direction. You gotta have that to, to run it back or something. Like there's something off about him. He definitely doesn't have a juke. Offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. Let's just have some fun. 
friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because oh. those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. They need to defend the goddamn make a, a crazy jump with the offense. Okay, goddamn. And maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Lay out, do a dive. Fuck, how do we do a dive and catch on this bitch? Come on, man. Hey, we just gonna knock a block, knock a block nobody, my nigga. Bitch, you gotta go block one of them. Like, come on, bro. Nah, ain't nobody running off on you, bro. No way, bro. Ain't nobody running off on you, bro. How the hell you do that? You the run off guy. I'm just fucking like, you definitely don't run off. He definitely doesn't run off. But nah. How the fuck? Nah, Zion, hell nah, bro. I know you ain't going for that shit again. I ain't going for that shit no more, Zion. Motherfucker gotta send me that bread up front. But nah, streamer, yeah, nah, I got ran up on by a streamer before. I ain't gonna lie. I got ran up on by a streamer before. On my stream. I don't know, niggas. Niggas ain't got no morals, man. Niggas ain't got no morals, bro. Got to make a video on their ass. Like, got to get him in the... What's his name? Caleb Gaines? Nah, 2K sucks. What's his name? Caleb 88 game ran off on me. He paid me one game and then didn't pay me the second game. He tried to double it. He paid. We played it, We played for 25. I beat him. He paid me. He wanted to play me again. He was like, nah, man, let's, let's go up for 50, man. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's no bricks. Yeah, I beat him. I was like, before we played, I was like, you sure, bro? What happened? He was like, he was like, yeah, I need to get my money back. I was like, what happens if you lose? Exactly, bro. He's the same dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's the same one, bro. That same motherfucker. Yeah, his bitch ass. I'm, that's the dude I'm going to make a video on, bro. Bitch ass. <clears throat> That's the same one, bro. Oh, God. I'm going to make a video on this bitch ass, bro. He look, he look, you, know, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a little Florida dude. A little Florida dude. A funny looking ass. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the yeah, I paid. Oh, you paid him or played him? Yeah. We, gonna, we got him. I got you, bro. I'm going to make a video on him. That's going to be the next one. But I don't think I don't think he jumped in the party though. Can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Oh damn, you lost to him? Well yeah, he, I mean he, I beat him twice. He didn't want to play no more. Hey y'all go spam Caleb 88 game, man. He got a lot of subs, but he don't pay, bro. Weirdo. He's sitting on that shit over there. Yeah, I'ma drop a video on him, bro. Tagging everything, bro. I thought he changed his name to Madden Guru Game or some shit. I think I made him change his name, but he went back on some shit. He was like the first little streamer dude that I played when I started streaming. He was trying to get a video on me. His lame ass can't get it, though. Another late pick. Look at that shit. That's, that's, that rock right, right there is open, bro. I can't get. I can't make the right pass. Fuck. I can't get the right pass. Like I can't lob it. I can't. It's like he's wide the fuck open, but I can't get it. Right, you hear me? GG's, GG's, you got it. That niggas can't catch shit. I got you though, Zion. That shit crazy, nigga. You gotta start doing video, bro. You do a video on his ass too. I got you though. I'm gonna do that. But nah, did he take, hold up, hold up, so did you send him the money? You ain't send him the money before y'all played, did y'all? If you in his eye.
bro. I'm on like a. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, chat. I'm on like a five game losing streak, bro. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good the fuck is Cormac talking about on a clown? Chiefs taking on the Atlanta Falcons. That you, Caleb? Check it out. Hunter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. He's going and they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. True, but it is crazy. Oh, so I ain't got my playbook this game. Okay, cool. Cool. Another fucking buy, man. Running RPOs with the Chiefs, man. Hate hey, y'all, bitch ass niggas, dog. God damn. These niggas is annoying, dog. How the fuck you just play the game like a, no, somebody else, bro? Like, <laughs> how fun is this? Y'all niggas not making it fun for me. I know it's not fun for y'all. Y'all making it not fun for the niggas who really do shit, like. Oh, all right, bro. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35 yard line. That one good for two. Don't say that chat, man. That shit crazy. Couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are barely. I'm a living testament of why niggas don't play Madden, bro. Like, why good people don't buy the good players are no longer on Madden. You see my last game? Like, yeah. I be cooking. I be having. I be having plays open. Shit be open. I'm, re I'm ready for Kirk though. You gotta get Kirk here ASAP, man. Matter 26 or 25, whatever they can call it. It's my year, man. RPO at the RPO at the RPO. What we gotta do? And he's got it for both sides, so I can't. I can't use the one side. He's got it on both sides. So what we gotta do here? I think what we gotta do. Do that. I'm down. Oh, nope. Blitzing all the linebackers didn't work. I mean, having a zone on each side didn't work. So let's go flat. Let's blitz all the linebackers. Pinch the line. Let's pinch the line. Uh, let's do that. Nothing. Can do nothing. Yeah, RPO all the way down the field. You're so good, bro. Hey, how, how, I, nah, how old are you? 26? 46. Oh, 46. Okay, all right. I ain't gonna, I'm going to take it easy on you, though. That's cool. You OG. You OG. You OG. OG. Uh, I was just trying to hear, you know, who was behind this shit. I, I'm glad you helped me out here behind. I'm just talking my streamer shit. I'm just a little salty, man. But you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of feel, I kind of feel, you know, what I'm saying RPO. How does it feel to play RPO all the way down the field? Oh no, 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 no! All right, no, you good, man. You good, man. Cause they have skill based matchmaking on, so I'm thinking you're like a top ranked player and you play the game a lot. So if you don't play the game a lot, hmm. oh, 
Okay, okay. My bad, man. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Don't, don't take it hard, bro. Don't take it hard, man. I'm just a shit-talking streamer who is just talking shit to the stream about how I've been losing and get my ass kicked. So you're good. Good shit. Good shit. That was good. Good shit. You're good, man. Here we go. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's what I was getting at. I'm pretty sure he does. Come on. Because he, he's playing me, so it's like skill based. So if I, I'm a, I'm out of a million players who play Madden, a million people who play Madden, I'm like top 2,000 as far as my record. And they match me up, and they match me up with people who have similar records. So your son is probably a good player. Does he use the Chiefs? Okay, so he used the Chiefs. I'm used to seeing a lot of the top players play with the Chiefs, so I be, I'm mad when I see a lot of people using the Super Bowl players, so that's why I'm kind of expressing myself. And then, you know, so yeah, there we go. But you're the Pops. He's the OG plan. He doesn't know a lot of plays, so we'll take it easy on him, man. We good. <laughs> go on, chat. The Giants. Okay. Oh, yeah. They said they're not, they tried, but that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like stuff that you can't control. Yeah. It's like, damn. Same thing kind of here with the Falcons. Uh, I need a quarterback. I'm waiting on Kirk Cousins to come, so. But I just got to play with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, young quarterback. All right, man. Here we go. I got to stop that RPO. I'm thinking about the RPO. We good on offense, y'all. Looks like I got to stop the RPO. Oh. Let's get to the second quarter. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. After one, seven, nothing. On EA Sports. <laughs> Hello, what'd you say? Try again here from the seven on second and goal. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like to say a million people play Madden, but a lot of them probably don't play it competitively and like don't play it a lot to where it matters. Your ranking, so I probably need to compare my. I'll say a lot, probably two thousand out of maybe two hundred thousand. I'll say that. Yeah, that's still good. Second down throw coming for Ritter. But yeah, Madden, I would think my million people would buy Madden every year. <laughs> yeah. Right. A lot of people play Ultimate Team. It's like, uh, it's like Ultimate Team is another mode in Madden where you can collect cards. So somebody like you, you know what? Uh, OG, like we like to say, man, older. You know what I'm saying? You might, you can, you can collect a card of a team from like the '86 Broncos, and like you might get John Elway on there or something like that. You can pit him and put him on a team. And, yeah. Uh, nah, it's free, but um, you can pay it. But it's it, it is pay to play though, because you have to uh, you pay for coins, then you can buy players like buy cards too, so it gets you to abuse your money. A lot of people put in money into it and get players quicker than. Cause you have to unlock challenges, or you have to do challenges to get points to get players. So a lot of people skip that, spend money. Yeah, No hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. The result only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. We think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage and it's traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They'll try for the first well, just let us up. What are we doing? You going for it, Pop? <laughs> I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I go 
Get him. Big roll of the dice on fourth and Jeez. one, but it pays off. They convert. So a chance to breathe easier now. First and ten after the fourth down conversion. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. All right. there. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Time oh, what are you saying, my bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They do that. Yeah, you good. You got your own number. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, they do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not angry anymore, man. I, I get it, man. I get it. But, nah, yeah, people do run the clock. For sure. I would in this situation. I think I've seen the NFL team maybe take a take a knee right here. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. Good, good, good. You good, man, you good. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. <laughs> now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So it's third and goal, and now the question can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? They'll try ah, to run Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. An extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14-7. 
Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. He's got a man complete. Wow, look how about that. Smithfield and inside the 45. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and a yard. Robinson up the middle. Oh, it shifts past him. And there's a nice move by Robinson. And this will be a Falcons first down as he gets it up past the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Ritter from the gun. It's going to be caught by Pitts. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. <laughs> so now first and 10 in Chiefs territory <laughs> at the 35-yard line. You haven't seen anybody click on and come get that Abby like that, huh, Pop? I got you. Ritter now. Uh, oh, my God. Rough in the pass. Oh, damn, that's a new to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm bugging. Talk about it. Rough in the pass. Uh, that's tough. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quick. Nah, man. Hey, I'm not going for it, man. You're not on your son's account. You got two safeties in. You, you, you know something. You know something, man. You. you Ritter. Okay. Oh, okay. Ha ha ha. Okay. Ha ha ha. Ha defenses on the board we do account for every receiver but on that particular yeah, yeah, yeah. play somehow he was wide open became an easy touchdown pass <laughs> extra point by Kuhl up and yeah. good what part of New York are you from huh you from New York what, what part okay yeah 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 my, my cousin's from Long Island yeah Okay. Here's me, Cole Hardman, taking it about the one, and he'll get it up just past the twenty. I'm in. I'm from Atlanta. Uh, I'm in uh, Edgewood right now, like East East Atlanta, Edgewood, Decatur, that area. Yeah. Right, here we go. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they're Shout out to the three in the chat. Game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Here's a second. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that sub button for me. Turn me up. Pacheco and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. 
Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. On first and ten, here's Sheesh. Pacheco. And it running out again. Right at the 40 yard line. Second time he's done that. For him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, that last run makes this a hundred yard uh, night. No five, I two. the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Pacheco. That's a good acceleration <laughs> there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. And they will run with Pacheco. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Three quarters in the books. Second down, eight to go from the 28. This is Pacheco. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 21. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. out there for their next drive they now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter what a big spot for this offense see if they can cobble something together on this drive and they're able to get this one across the 35 a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down I like the design that we're seeing right there this is what they need down by a touchdown here in the fourth they just need to keep working their way downfield hmm? and when they see openings take their shots on first and ten it's Robinson and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41 yard line that's a really good gain right there they pick up five yards halfway to a first down the only problem now in the huddle Everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. On 
Second down, another shot for Robinson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They'll run again here with Robinson. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now second and four. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now Ritter. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Robinson is not going to get a hold oh my God. yard down to the, the time out right now. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that the time out right there. I oh, so damn. On that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. A final shot now for Ritter. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Hell yeah, I got to. Kick the extra point, you got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans though holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? One final shot. They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. Oh my god. <laughs> they gamble this one this, man. And they trail by one here in the final moments. GG, man, GG's. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. <laughs> and this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should right, just you too, put a camper on this one. Well, this was a good one. Excitement all the way to the end. He had the points, and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It didn't in this case, and they walk off a of victor.
Well, we are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the L.A. Chargers. <laughs> Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. for a loss of yardage. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. They'll roll him out right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate, that was just incomplete. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Here's Herbert. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Troy Anderson. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. And from the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Ritter will set up to throw it. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a first carry here for Robinson. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees a short yard. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. B. John Robinson taking it in from two yards out. And the Falcons use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Charger drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. That is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And the Falcons are going to get it back here just past the 35. 
Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. And space tough to come by there as they get maybe a yard to the 37. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Ritter to throw it. And a dump off here to Robinson. Shout out to the three in the chat. Man, I, nigga Kyle Pitts dropped the goddamn two-point conversion to win it, bro. That shit was wild, nigga. Uh, nigga Kyle Pitts dropped the two-point conversion with two seconds on the clock, bro. Wide open drag right across the middle. He just got knocked out, KO by some random ass nigga. Pitts sold. That nigga ran 100% RPOs, bro. 100% RPOs. Hell no, nah, I ain't win though. Lost by one. Back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, yeah, that shit's tough. Third and ones, third and twos. That's why you drafted. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. The one thing we talked about. Shout out to the four in the chat. We're never gonna question the fight that he's gonna have for all four quarters of the game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. The Ritter back to throw. That's a horrible pass, Joe. Break it up. Ooh, almost dotted him. The ball away and it falls incomplete. Continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball, but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention. And it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. Ritter throwing on third down. That is caught. That's a room to run now. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Ritter. And he'll get nothing there. Stop right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Second and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Bijan Robinson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons go up by two touchdowns. Come on. Extra point by Koo up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Here's Herbert now on second down. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He finds his target, Allen. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Oh, to the phone down, it's Herbert. Yeah. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. <laughs> First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, Herbert. Yeah. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. A 9-yard touchdown there. And the Chargers are back within a score. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone, drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On play action, here's Ritter. Oh my god, bro. How the fuck do you throw up? And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. And a return across midfield and a 46 yard line. Well, this was a 14 nothing game. How do you throw a lob pass? All right, bro. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive and now the interception. So that's a lesson in inaccurate, bro. How do you throw a touch pass inaccurate, bro? How can I not tap the button in that accurately, bro? Here's second and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> now it's Herbert. It'll find his man. There's a first and ten at the 14 yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield. It could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. <laughs> this will be caught by the six. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Herbert going to keep it on the sneak. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Herbert going to keep it on the sneak. And this time he breaks the plane. He's 
in for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. That's a point up and good by Dicker. And he's going to tie the game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Some might have returned that one. He will come down to a knee Let's and he'll start bro. the drive from the 25. Got you, bro. Yeah, man, bro. Offense, this this game got me pissed the fuck off, dog. I ain't going to They've got a little under 40 seconds thing. to go if they want to try to put something together here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. This pass is caught by London. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first game. I played a nigga uh, last game. Played a nigga. He ran 100% RPOs on me, bro. Uh, he ran the clock. I got down. I had to. I could have tied it up with two seconds left with the extra point, but I went for two. Pitch was wide open on a drag. He gets KO. I lose by one point. Now, I mean, every game Ritter's throwing an inaccurate pass for a pick, bro. Like, I just threw an inaccurate lob pass. I got to start fucking. Here's Ritter. The pitch got knocked down right there. That's great. <laughs> Yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world. No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over, then they get a chance to continue their drive. Back to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Every time I run this play, I throw it in accurately for a pick. Let's see if it happens again. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. God damn. Ritter will set up to throw it. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Final play before the half. Here's Ritter. That oh, man. caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. Come on, Drake. Don't drop, dog. Uh, come on. Seconds of the first half, and the Falcons have taken the lead. Shout out to the, the five in the chat, y'all. Yeah, hit that like button, hit that sub button if you knew, man. We on the road to 150. Appreciate y'all tapping in. The vibes are very low today, man. I've been off man for a week. I needed a break, and I come back to bullshit. Bullshit, 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 more bullshit. Bullshit at the bullshit. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. Well, that y'all coming to watch the bullshit. The Here we go. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis operating button getting set for quarter number three here. back to receive they've got the lead and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 24. Oh, cup. Music, like I said the keys a the thermometer and one out of grease about set to begin the next drive the Falcons offense at the line 
Come on, bro. Let's try any uh, killing me touch with the mob. On the top. Back to throw Ritter. That's out loud. That's a three. Call it a gain of three on the play. Oh, Offensively, that's a oh, no, my you enemies. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back the out of the backfield. Chasing a hundred billion. This is the beginning. They run like they backs. Say down, and they take a lot of pride in covering. A lot of them. Nice you know, yeah. On okay. second down, Ritter. She got clap. Great, don't drop. Come on. Game and you got me here, drinking on money, sitting there, out of bounds. Whatever the discussions were, I'm trying to try to slow down this offense. It has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision. Obey with me, you may draw on it. Come on, any man. Dude, this is the thing, man. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Drake, don't drop, man. Come on. 24. Touchdown of the afternoon, and the Falcons take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down. Appreciate y'all for the lights, man. Appreciate y'all. Coup now for the point this after. Way. I gotta make sure I aim. Hit him up. Okay, okay. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer. Oh got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Oh, ooh, open it up. Oh, ooh, open it up. Oh, ooh. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull mm -hmm. that one back. It's Jesse. Oh, my God. Open it up. Oh, ooh. Open it up. Oh, ooh. Oh, who would have been in the trunk? Oh, ooh. Oh, who would have been in the trunk? Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just oh, as he oh, was letting ooh. that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. Mm. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Here's Herbert now on second down. Oh, it's a dot. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams. 
second touchdown of the afternoon. And What's the Chargers that? have cut it back within a score. And it's a good by Dicker. And they're within seven now, 20 and 21. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. <coughs> Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something. Oh, man, I'm going to be a juke, bro. I'm a damn juke, yeah, it's been. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 47 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Oh and they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll wind up losing about a dozen on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. What if I get you walking in now? And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter. In motion comes the tight end left. Ritter throwing on third down. Oh my God. Oh my and look God. at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are right back in this football game. Over going to lead up the Chargers here. First and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Herbert setting up the throw on first down. He sets to fire deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A gain of 37. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Boston Eckler, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last oh. drive. He'll look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. Seven, 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 seven. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they work this out past the 25. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. On the give, here's Robinson. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now second and nine. Ritter to throw it. Got a man. It's London. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Hand off now to Robinson. And he will be Bruh, stopped. I thought I was about to pass the ball. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Another try. Second and ten now. Ritter now. That's brought in downfield by London. Oh, what a time for a lapse defensively. That turns this game right on its ear. And now, forget about going fast. They might want to take the air out a little bit and force the defense to use some timeouts. On the run, it's Robinson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. As they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kick. And if you got a kick who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeroes. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Uh, Two knocks this one through the post. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. If they're going to get out of here with a victory. They'll come up first and ten here. 59, 59. Now Herbert. That's caught by Palmer. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Throwing. Herbert. Finding Allen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second down. Herbert 
going to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Herbert to throw. He's going to let it fly. No, Jesse. And that's going to sabotage no. the comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. GG, 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 man. Just about oh. sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. I got Bill. Had lucky ass sack. He had, he had extra open like a motherfucker. In the new. Made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for the next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Field room. Get that preparation started now. Oh, hey, Bikini. Hey, Bikini be working on. What up, Jay? What's good? How you been, my guy? School almost over, ain't it? <laughs> back on back from spring break, ain't it? Oh, bro, I took I ended the fucking losing streak, bro. Damn. Yeah. Fuck, nigga. My bad, Jay. Okay, there. What we doing? Shit, I ain't been doing that, man. I been got them coaching basketball AAU. We went four and this weekend. High school AAU basketball.
EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Atlanta Falcons. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Shit, I'm only on a one-win streak. I'm talking about I went undefeated. Um, Coach AA, AAU basketball. My tournament this past weekend, we played four games. We went 4 -0. I'm only on a one-game win streak. I was on a six-game losing streak. Yeah, that was my first win tonight, Jay. God damn. Been getting fucking abused by Madden, bro. I've been getting abused like no cap. They will run straight ahead with Swift to the 43, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who I made the play? We all Come on then, bit. You won't let me quit, man. Down. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get you your get no free win. You gotta play, going. like. And then once he made just the let the motherfucker lead, bro. We wanna lead, bro. This is second and eight. Oh, you think it's a free win? Haha. <laughs> Five hundred to a new team, nah. Throwing you wanna play with a different team, Jay? Yeah, bitch. You ain't let me quit. Get that hit stick. You ain't gonna let me get out of here and get that hit stick going, nigga. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were making a few yards along the way. Now that they've topped it up, gotta go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and ten, right at the 50-yard line. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field oh. despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in. They just got to throw this one away. Maybe more weeks. Oh, yeah, that's about three months, about a month. Hold on, wait, 11 weeks, that's two months. Goddamn, what are you, April, May, just down, boy. What the hell, school, what's so late for y'all? Ritter from the gun on third down. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 22 the there on the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Going for it all. And this one is incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second down and a run by Robinson. Gets past one man. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown. Okay. 
Yeah. They might not hit that curl button, man. Come on. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Curry up and good. And that makes the score 7 nothing. Couldn't let me quit, man. Now Pinion with a kickoff on his following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Ooh. And the decision him, to bring it out is not a good one as him. he's tackled at the 15. The Eagles offense sent to begin the next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. From the gun, it's Hurts. Right. Rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The fucking defense has a touchdown. Send me a friendly, friendly quit, bro. <laughs> Send me a friendly quit. I got you. And now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Off the touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. Two able to connect on the extra point. That'll make the score at 14 to 0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. This Philly offense set to go. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. But the crowd of both first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. We're murder my past. I don't know. I just gonna try to. I ride with the ratchet. Swing it out to the back. Hey, with that boy, I can do call. magic. I really buy the ass. I take my chances. Just try to. Head on. Yes, sir. Turn my head on. Yes, sir. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was just gonna kick my guy. I ain't gonna lie. I really know how that case sounds. Like, that was like baseball. Guys like that, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them all. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. Oh, that's a guy. You already think. I think my chances are going to be fast. I think my chances are going to be fast. I already talk about it. I think my chances are going to be fast. I don't know what the rest is. I don't know what the rest is. They'll throw over the first half of the Hurts. This short throw caught by Gatter. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll Can't give him a stop. short yardage situation here for second down. Yes. Here's Hurts to throw. Yeah. To the end zone, but it's okay. incomplete. Let's face it, you want to get back into the game. This is the time you gotta uh, hit. Oh, That's why I'm right there. You gotta be able to get it to him. Those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped the pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. 
Come on, I don't need to talk about it. But now that my pass. Yeah, the Eagles are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. No, man. With that 40, nigga, I can do magic. I look at that action. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Troy Anderson. To the crib, guy. To the crib, my guy. Send that Philly quit, my guy. Send that Philly quit. Send that Philly quit. I got you. I promise I got you. Send that Philly quit, my guy. I just used alert the shit out of him. Ah, the user alert guy is here. Ah, the alert guy is here, man. Oh, God, man. Let's go. I'm back, man. Shout out to Matt, man. Come on. Just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six, it's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream. Extra point by Koo, up and go. And that makes the score 21 to zip. GG's, man. So that friendly quit, bro. To bring it out here from the end zone. Tuesday night football. Falcon versus the birds, man. Falcon versus the birds. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Shout out to the three in the chat. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that sub button, man. Check my video out. My page versus the number one player in ranked player in rigs. And a trash talker, man. Get that to 100 views. Let's go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here... That's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Second down. Here's Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41 yard line. Bud Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. <laughs> Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But there's a new conversion. Girl, my man, with some big money in it. Continue because but so around to get lost. Passing production has led to a lack of points. Knock that out. Wow. Well. This one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. That Jimmy, was baby, if you like that, that was now. third and 16, but they get the conversion oh, anyway. Oh. This offense mm -hmm. finding its legs now. Here's another mm -hmm. first and ten. What's up? Let's take a trip. Have you ever heard of it? He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Mm -hmm. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. All right, I got to change this song. Man. I can't play mad to got down. Jeremiah and J. Cole. <laughs> Fuck around and get a comeback. Here we go. Shout out to the three. They'll stick with the passing mm. game as he looks to throw. Knock that out. What? Touchdown, Eagles. What? A 14 yard touchdown. And the Eagles get a bit okay. closer. 
Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you know, if I let you come back from down 21, dog, I'm ass. But instead, the calm drive. Lie. Now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now the line, yes. Mm. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. Ritter on first I'm from a place where my wings don't fly. I got the bags. Which one you want to buy? Shout out to the phone attack. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey, y'all. A free way to support the channel. Hey, we coming with the Falcons every time. Y'all, we on the road to 150. Free way to support the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let nobody know. You burn a candle. And you get them home. You can't go out there. Just that don't. All the drinks out of stuff. Go and play action, Ritter. Drake don't drop, man. Drake don't drop. I am the honcho boss. I will do what? Take one, take one off. Wow, wow. Pause, did you? Fucking with no. I ain't in it. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh my god. Oh, so I'm a computer picking. Yeah, the Eagles force the turnover. They'll take oh, over at the 27. I let the computer get you, dog. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do. Pit. I have so many people open. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. Man. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp. Oh, and my goodness. And at least goodness. one practice each week before a game. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Philly. 42 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. That is caught. Uh, and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now they'll throw here out of the oh, game. The the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catcher moved this out to the 25-yard line. Yeah, 
Should have been, yeah, man. I sold, Jay. And with a seven point lead, I saw it. I'm gonna get it back though. The locker room and not really press the issue. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it back though. Jeff. Pass on first down, it's knocked away and incomplete. So, yeah, <laughs> three actually, Jay. I think the three lurks. Sharpest of starts. Now, I would agree with that, but if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Oh, but they gave they gave bro a catch when he caught it like that. They gave him a touchdown. That looks like pitch caught that. I ain't gonna lie. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think mm. you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Ritter throwing on third down. Now the incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. I fucking sold, Jay. Hard. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for court. When I picked last drive, I had pit over the shit. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. <laughs> about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn, can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. And strong running here on the first two plays of the drive. He's got another first down on a gain of 12. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. The Ritter back to throw. Oh, my God. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get it. Time that I ran around. I'm giving it back. It's not an easy job to go out and catch passes for people trying to tackle you. Not the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Atlanta, Georgia is the spot. And glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action. Second and ten. Robinson up the middle. Ah. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to put those nickels up there. Just don't think. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. And the tight end goes in motion left. Ritter now. Oh my God! No. I thought that accurate. <laughs> Whether that's a little <laughs> grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Sixty-one yarder. I think who can make that? I should have ran the ball. The isn't going anywhere. They're gonna go to be honest. Ritter will set up to throw it. Let's go, Mac. And 
this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. Catch Matt. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he's got room. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. First down, here's Ritter. Come on, Pitts, you done dropped two passes just like that identically, bro. Bitch ass, bro. Fuck. This shit heading off the nigga's defender's helmet and shit, bro. Search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Looking to throw it here. Ritter being chased out left. Pass to the side. Yeah, Touchdown. Got a little playmaker, Amy. Bijan Robinson. He scored on the ground and through the air. Charles, you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. All right, all right, Jay. Appreciate you tapping in, bro. Appreciate you, bro. My guy. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Appreciate you, Jay. From a couple yards deep. Hey, I bring it out appreciate you. Have a good stream, man. My and guy, man. Have a game. Finish out the year strong, Jay. So I know I'm going to be on tomorrow, so just tap in, track. tap in. Have a good night, bro. Have a good day at school tomorrow, too, man. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be... And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he takes this one back. GG, man. GG. The Falcon defense has a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, his interception will... This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And off we go from Seattle. 
This taken in right around the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, it's Walker. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the error we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage and hit clearing space. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Walker now on first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Wow. Runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Again, it's Walker, and he stopped immediately there. Second and ten. They'll try the air now with Smith. on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now a 7 nothing game. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field. And we are ready to rock. He's tackled down inside the 20. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 18. Pass the 20 for a short gain, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score.
Ritter off the play fake. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. This ball down the field for Pitts. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. This pass is caught by London. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 30-yard <coughs> gain. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a first and 10. Ritter from the gun. That's out wide here for Robinson. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And they'll come up second and seven. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Play action. Here's Ritter. Steps away. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scratch. Playing up the line set to come here on the draw on third and two. Ready to throw it. That ball is caught. It's a little bit of a touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Two able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Dwayne Eskridge elects to bring it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. 
They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Second and nine. To throw with Smith. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Geno down a throw. And that will be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. They snap it to Smith. Now he's forced out left. Just a crazy throw there, and it's intercepted. Let's work, man. Lockdown defense. Let's get it. Come on. If AJ would have let him catch that shit, I would have been pissed. He almost let him catch that shit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Ritter. Oh, but you catch that, bitch. You dropped two, three passes like that earlier. But you catch that. Executed 22 yard gain. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. First and ten, it's Robinson. He will push his way down to about the 14. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. They work now on second and nine. They'll send the tight end in motion. On second down, Ritter. This to Pitts. Oh, Touchdown, oh. Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. On the return, it's Eskridge, and he'll bring it out. And he returns this to the 22. The Seahawks take over first and 10 their own 22 yard line. Hey, Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with them trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll have this pass to 30 prior to going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards.
Throwing now is Gino. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Smith. Has it complete to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And he's going to get him another first down here as he's able to dive forward to get as much as he can. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing again is Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw <coughs> is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessful. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Option play, here's Robinson. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they do a third and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good first round time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Throw Ritter. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 17 yards. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Ritter. Short throw caught by Pitts. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away. And incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Ritter with it after the play fake. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Flying in to pick up that sack, Jordan Brooks. But we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his leg. We saw earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. On first down, Ritter. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Then their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Ritter now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. From Falcon territory. 
territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Throwing is Smith. He finds Smith and Jim back in the end zone for a Seahawks touchdown. A great effort there. 26 yards. And the Seahawks are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's not going to get in as a try for two comes up empty. So they will be unable to cut this to a field goal as the differential remains five. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession touchdowns on their first three possessions I mean this defense they can't seem to stop them it's like they're on skates great analogy Brandon because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone so to themselves all they're saying is if we don't make a mistake there's no way they can stop us trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks A give to Robinson on the option. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Ritter throwing on third down. And look at this. They get the turnover they need, and it's intercepted. Kobe Bryant picks off his fellow Bearcat along Desmond Ritter, and he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Here's Walker. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Now Smith. Dancing to his left. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hughes. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So a costly INT in the end zone, no less, puts the brakes on their potential scoring drive. So many teams stick with the passing game down near the goal line because they see it as an extension of what they do between the 20s. And as we said many, many times, the further you drive, the more the field shrinks. And that was a nice job of making a play on the football and coming away with the interception. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of running him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That's a very important drive, and that completion leads to a very important third down here if they're trying to get the football back. 
Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Ritter will set up to throw it. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Well, I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. So when your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. to throw that's out wide here for Robinson fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's Falcon football as we welcome you back they're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead Out of God, here's Ritter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, 49 yards. And the Falcons will add to their fourth quarter lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving.
Shout out to the two in the chat. Oh man, I ain't mean to bag out. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Atlanta Falcons. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. To throw at the outset, here's Hertz. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. Well, how about a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage, putting that secondary on notice? Brandon, all I remember when I was a player is that we always took a test the night before the game about teams' tendencies and what they, what they plan to do. I'm not sure we think deep ball right out of the gate and putting us back on our heels. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Don't you cry. Second down, here's Hurts. Oh my God. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Wow. A chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Here's Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And out a little across Shout the, to the three in the chat, y'all. Hey, if y'all new, hit that like button, hit that sub button for me. We're gonna roll to 150 subs, trying to get that by the end of the week. Come on. Oh, live got his rematch, man. Red I know he's locked Falcons in over there. I know it. And 10 at their own 27. Sure, ski. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh. And incomplete on the deep ball. Okay, Bradbury they got a boost or some shit, dude. Target, but let's face it, it won't be his last ass. chance because he'll get opportunities to make it no, catch him. throughout this game. Second and ten now from the 27. Mm -hmm. A run for the first time with B. John Robinson. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Oh, 23 oh, yards on the pickup there and a first. Oh, oh, oh. Cold heart. Back to Robinson now on first down. Mm. And the result here Mama, please don't you cry. I'm sorry. I think I'll sometime I'll be home soon. Please don't. Nice early burst. Oh, nice game too. I will be okay. Just wipe those tears off of your face. I'm sorry. Ritter to throw it. Checks this one down to Robinson. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. First down, here's Ritter. Oh, man. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here's Ritter. Steps away to his left. His throw incomplete. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. In motion, the tight end. The hell is this? Ritter now. But that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, force the incompletion. Looking to throw here on fourth. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Stick it with a passing game. Here's Ritter again. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Falcons respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Koo able to connect on the extra point. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he Holy only gets violent. this out to the 16-yard line. This Philly offense set to go. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21 yard line. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards. And now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. <laughs> These two teams all tied after one.
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good for 28 yards. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10. Down at the 33. Here's Hertz to throw towards the end zone. Oh, AJ? The Get the oh, this is caught. Touchdown, <laughs> Philadelphia. AJ Stark Brown, 33 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Oh, this is blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. <laughs> Call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the they football know they there. Yeah, the biggest thing they're like, calling it oh, now, oh, our ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Flushed out right. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. Touchdown, Falcons! B. John Robinson. 52 yards and the Falcons strike quickly here to tie up the ball game well he's used to running it that distance here he had to catch it too before making the run heck of a play for the score there's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it and we just saw him complete a big time play for a touchdown extra point by two up and good and with it his guys take the lead here by a point Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Throwing his hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that. Well, he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that's out to the flat for Swift. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. That turned into a very well-orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right, and after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. Still on the same the play, side bro. Line, and look at that catch. Dragging All right, the toes, bro. and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A very solid gain of 27. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. Eluding the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out. Oh, what? Touchdown! Yeah. Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have regained the lead. Oh, Elliott now to add the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets that? it to go. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. It's a dive, but wow. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now, right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Sets up the screen to Robinson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. On first down, Ritter. This ball down the field for Pitts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. On second down, Ritter. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. Mm -hmm. uh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. <laughs> and the Eagles are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances. Lob it. Oh, it's a touchdown. You don't have to bullet everything. Lob it. It's a touchdown. And that's where I want to start. Come on. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the Sorry, but I got to get this shit back, dog. No one likes that. I'm, so, I would not I'm sorry, but I gotta get this back. The return on investment thus far is oh, yeah, the to touchdowns to one interception. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and ten. 
From the gun, it's Hurts. He's oh going deep God. for Brown. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Oh, my God. A.J. Brown. As the first half is winding down, and the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. I fucking and hate you, bitch. not a winning formula. Bitch. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. They see Ritter cannot escape, and they bring him down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, Get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Robinson up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The Ritter back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. There's Robinson showing the flash. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Ritter with it after the play fake. Rolling to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Second down and a run by Robinson. 63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Ritter on the fourth down try. That is caught. Touchdown. For well, lobbing is a touchdown, man. Come on. Drake London. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Ku able to connect on the extra point. And they're within seven now, 28 21. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all the way up just shy of midfield before going out of bounds at the 49. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. down and you're almost in field goal position. Go, go, 
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where if you try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped they'll try and run here with Swift and he will be very close to a first down but I see the close fist of the referee and that means fourth down the way things have gone in this one the running game has been something of an afterthought and that's not been too bad for them has it? yeah the offensive returns have been good but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They'll set up a throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play action. Here's Hertz. Again, that's Watkins. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 34 yards. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Elliott on for the extra point. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. It's a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the third what else here? All right, I'm about to come down. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. So. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started tonight. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up. And that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. And that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Ritter throwing on third down. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So both teams trade touchdowns. And the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. and push the offense backwards a bit. going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 